Hello and welcome back to uh, one of my Transfield World 4 videos today uh, to celebrate the launch of the uh, Blackpool Branches DLC. I thought it would be nice to do a service from that route. Uh, and to that effect we're going to do uh, two Juliet 5-4 from Blackpool North to Manchester Victoria. Um, although this will terminate at Preston which is the extent of the line in that direction. So without further ado let's get started. Okay, so first thing we need to do is to uh, key in and uh, set the reverser, open the doors so the fair paying public can get on. Uh, let's set the uh, AWS up. I'm not sure how much AWS there is on this route. Um, We'll find out, I think. I've not uh, really played it only once so far, so uh, it will be a bit of a trial and error on this. So we'll put the headlights on and we'll do the destination, which is going to be Manchester, Victoria, isn't it? So there we go. Oh no, back. Let's see how that came out. Yep, that's good. So I got the lights done. Uh, yep. Um, right, okay, so we're all set up, so let's have a quick look outside. So I've set it on a sort of spring morning, a bit of cloud, a bit of mist, and mainly so it's nice and bright at least so you can see the detail of the route and uh, the effort that seems to have gone into it from just trains. I see these, uh, this outfit here, this guy's got on, is very, what's he gone? Oh him, yeah. It's very reminiscent of the 1980s. That that particular brand that well made that sort of that that top was Sergio Tacchini. Um, was quite a common sight of the 1980s. That that brand and that uh, that style. Okay, so I'm going to close the doors anyway because doors can close 20 seconds before the um, before before the uh, train departs. Uh, we've just been given the buzzers, although to be honest with you, the signal's not green, so we can't leave before the signal's uh, green, but it has just changed now, so let's uh, oh, come on. We get release the brakes, and off we go. Let's spin around, have a look. I guess these people weren't waiting for this train. So we're 15 miles an hour out. As we're going over some points, we come off the rails so soon in the uh, journey. So look outside, what we've got out here, it's good, it's good. Semaphore signals and colour lights, I believe, on this route. There's a gronk there. I think there's some services that you can do with that. Uh, we've got the Blackpool North signal box which you can go into. There's uh, some sort of tutorial or something there, I don't know what that's all about. So should be coming into the 70 shortly so we can Speed up a little, some sidings over here. And there's a there we go. class 47, uh, I think I see over there. Is it? Yeah, this was a rake of with a rake of uh, Mark II coaches on it. So, we've got our first stop. Can find out by the announcer. Wait, stand by, everybody. The next stop is Leighton. Next stop is Leighton. So, um, so basically, that's just public announcement. Basically, just replicating the uh, what the guard would would announce. Obviously, back in the day, well, when this was set, there was no automatic uh, passenger information system, so it was the guard's job to. Uh, let um, the 
the public know what the next stop was coming up. Break in a little bit. My initial run on this, the brakes seemed okay actually. We'll find out for sure now. They'll be coming to the station in a second. Yeah, this is a bit tight, the timings on this one. It's 58 and it was going to be a few seconds late. Let's put this brake into two. No, we're not going to stop. Well, we might do now, mate. Okay. Let the people on. A bit of graffiti over there. You don't actually get very long at this station. You really have to rush to go. Okay, we'll lock the doors. You can see the uh, those do <laughs> sort of bifold doors. I think they maybe that's what they're called. Now yeah, we're off, and our next stop is Port Lafarge. Some 1980s cars going over the uh, and they the BR kind of orangey coloured um, works vans. So for those who are not familiar with the pacer, although I find it hard to believe that nobody's familiar with it, but essentially the pacer is just ba is based on um, uh, the Leyland um, bus of that time. Um, sort of the mid 1980s. It was the Leyland National Bus, I think, um, which was built by the then state owned British Rail, uh, uh, British Leyland, and another company, I think, were both. Nationalised companies that build buses and coaches and whatnot. Okay, so I think the power off because we've got a 35 coming up. Got a little bit of break in there. Um, British Rail decided that their first generation diesel multiple units were coming to the end of their life and it was going to be very expensive to upgrade them, particularly as a lot of them had asbestos in them would need to be removed. Um, so they did they whilst they were going to develop a, a brand new dmu which turned out to be the sprinters of plus 150s 151s and so on um, they needed they needed something um in between those and um the pacer was born out of that so i think the class 140 was the very first version which did have a number of problems with it the gearboxes and it wouldn't activate track circuits because it was because it'll how lightweight and the and so on and so forth. But they sorted those problems out, and uh, the one four two was the first that was built with all the new um, features or the upgraded features, rather than modifying the old one forty. So I've got twenty here. Better slow down a little bit. Um, and uh, being based on a bus, the chassis at least anyway, um, the, um, the suspension was, was kind of bus-like and that's why it bounces up and down. All you've got is these springs here, not really suited to railways. I think, I mean, most modern trains now will have air suspension um, and also have your dampers and stuff like that to, to make the ride more comfortable um, but as it was a stop gap they obviously deemed that it it would do the job but they were known for bouncing up and down so now we're coming into the port of the field Go. The next station stop is Polton Lafayette. Oh, filed, I beg your pardon. Oh, 
all in the file. The apologies to anybody who's from this part of the world. So look at Paul and Lafold outside. I'm not going to get much of a chance, I don't think, given the, how quickly the um, passengers get on and off this train. Oh, we have got to wait seven seconds. I'm going to shut the doors now, though, because we're going to be leaving in a minute. Okay, release the brakes and off we go. I think Just Trains has done a good job on the engine here. The exhaust fumes are very good. They're not, they look the right colour, and the way they come out to me seems pretty good. Okay, so our next stop is Kirkham and Gresham. I'll be just double check that's correct. The next stop is Kirkham and Gresham. Kirkham and Gresham. So that's the uh, that was kind of the brief history of the uh, Pacer. I think that we used this is a colour. This is provincial livery. They did come in various ones. There was one for the Great Western Group and one for the Manchester, which was um, the I think brown. Um, yeah, brown. I think um, this one has the Leyland engine, which was same as befits as a bus. I think. Um, although when they were upgraded. In later years they were fitted with a Cummins engine I think which does sound quite a bit different to this so looking around the cab it's pretty primitive got some heater controls there most important you don't want to be in a cold cab it's not very pleasant uh, what we got here uh, cab heater heated screen that's good. Uh, signal buzzer, instrument panel, destination light. I don't really need that this time of day. Um, engine start, stop, gearbox train. I suppose these are the fault lights for those things. Um, engine start, and engine stop, windscreen washers, uh, couple button. I don't know how many of these you can put together. Um, yeah, no idea. Uh, I feel that probably they're mostly used in formations of two, but otherwise I couldn't say. Uh, you've got a compressor speed up. That all that does is so. Obviously, a lot of systems on here are driven by air, um, and there's a, there's a compressor that's driven off the main engines on these things. Um, but the air does leak away quite quickly, so if you need to get air in um, to build up air quite quickly, you put that on, and it basically makes the the air compressor run very quickly. Um, don't think that is very noisy. Um, so you don't whoop, speed in here. Um, so they don't want to be using it for too long. Uh, okay. What else we got? Um, AWS we said. Uh, this is national radio system or something, which is, I think is the predecessor to what was Cap Secure Radio CSR. Um, which was then superseded by what we have now, PSMR. Although I did hear there was some there was some worries about GSMR being obsolete in a few years, but um, I'm sure people who know more than I do are looking into that. Uh, AWS Sunflower, so I don't know if the AWS is fitted on this route um, all the way along. Um, so there were some of these routes, I think maybe Northern Transpennine. I think maybe Tees Valley didn't have AWS on it, or, or large parts of it. Uh, we got here uh, saloon lights, or oh, vestibule lights, guards, guards heater. All right, okay, guard screen, fire warning test, and a few isolation switches there. And some circuit breakers here to do various bits, although I don't know what you want to be messing around with those for. So, if you own the um, other sort of BR routes of this sort of era, um, they will layer into this, so you'll see services and AI. So, I think West Cornwall Local, Northern Trans Pennine Tees Valley Line um, all give you something on here. I don't know if it's services. Locos, wagons, 
uh, which which is good. Which makes a you know the variety, the, particularly AI, is um, is welcome. Otherwise, a route can look a bit sterile. I think maybe the um, I think Glossop line may even be um, on here as well. Something outside, so it's going. Oh, it's a bit misty than I thought it was going to be. A couple of miles before Kirkham and Wesham. I hope the sound quality is a bit better this week than it was in my last video. Um, I had really terrible problems with headsets and microphones not working, and uh, I had to send, send two different headsets back. Um, I guess part of the pro price you pay for um, getting stuff through Amazon Warehouse, really. I should probably just buy the bullet and pay the full amount, but. I've got another set in order. This is one that's just using the uh, microphone of the um, control at the moment. If I couldn't find any others. Okay, let's just power off as we're nearly at 70. I've got a 30 coming up, so I'd better put the brake in now. And see outside the scenery. You don't. I, I, be quite nice if we could just get a minute or so at the station just so you could wander around the station and have a look but you don't okay a bit more I think because uh, we're not going to get down to 30 in time otherwise we'll have to do three here I think Okay, we're down to 30, so that's good. We'll be getting into trouble for speeding. I'm crossing over here. So that's our junction, we're approaching. Oh. I never goes back into a 40, but we're coming into the station shortly anyway. Another signal box. Again, I'm not sure if you can in that one it maybe just one day to take a freight train or do a uh, free roam and just stop at the places and investigate uh, doing it on this you can do what you do in services of course but uh, it means you're gonna be getting really uh, very few points for time at least okay so Kirkham and Wesham platform 2 Now, I'm going to press it again a bit harder, as it always the brake. There we go. Let's see if I can get it stopped. Right now, I think we're going to need a step two here, I think. Well, I don't know, maybe it will. Mm, not bad. Great, let's do an announcement. There we go, let's open the doors in Kirkham and Wesham. Let me see me get a little tiny bit longer here. Let's have a look at this little station. See the gingerbread man knocking around earlier on. Oh, ticket office up there perhaps. I wonder if it's closed. Um, there you can see the sun's coming up, it's looking quite nice. It's good to see there's vegetation on the line side as well. It's um, you know, if it's too clean, it doesn't look right. You've got the bits of old track and stuff, which is exactly what it's like in real life. You don't, you don't ever see massive long lengths of of, of uh, track with no vegetation or no bits of engineering stuff that's been left behind or waiting to be used so it's like all been riveted it does look a bit kind of Heath Robinson but um, done so well even the press open doors like a proper bus 
Okay, release the brakes and off we go. The next stop is Preston, so this is quite a fast, or well, I'd say a semi, semi fast, I guess. So we're 40 out up here, but I, I'm not sure if we'll get the 40 before the 75 appears. 75 miles an hour, top speed of these. Must have been quite an event. I mean, I've travelled on them, as I say, but uh, it was quite a long time ago, and it was in the northeast, like Middlesbrough, I think, um, a few times, and I was working up there, staying away. Oh, we might get it before the 40 we'll just power it off a bit. I mean, I'm not sure if I'd like to drive these day to day out with this bounce. I mean, it's bad enough if you're a passenger, but at least you get to get off at some point. It'd be, it'd be a hell if you suffer from motion sickness. Oh, yeah, we just did that then. Let's put the foot down now. And there we go. I was going to put in one of the external views. Um, I'm a bit reluctant to because I was messing around with it earlier on. I put an external view and it crashed, so I don't really want to uh, give it a try. So I'm recording this, so I'll, I'll leave it. But um, it looks good. Oh. Well, there's kind of hay bales there. It's a bit early in the year for that. I'd better see those in September rather than April where this has been set. Maybe a picky. So well, we can go a bit faster if we've got 75 now. I mean, the car light signals. We're getting a bit of bounce now. I would imagine in real life that the cab would be quite a noisy place to to be. I mean, inside the train it's noisy as well because you've got the um, rattling and it, I think they're very drafty. Can we put the blind up? Can't, no, you can't put the blind up. Yeah, drafty and noisy and rattly. Um, wouldn't have been very nice spinning this all day. And it would be quite noisy in here, I'm pretty sure. But for the purposes of a of a simulation, you don't really want it to be too noisy. It'd actually be very annoying to be driving along in this, um, doing doing loads of services with a lot of cabin noise. I think people are very unhappy with it. the 385 on the Edinburgh Glasgow uh, DLC. Was the cab was very noisy on that initially. And it attracted lots of complaints. Bounce. Duplex gauge there. Seventy two. Fan up there. I don't need it today. It's blind work? No. What's those up there? Oh, he does. I suppose it's sunlight coming from the side um, on the blind. Um, doesn't seem to be one on that side though. So it's three miles to Preston, so not far to go. It's quite a short route, half an hour. Some of them are much longer. I think they must uh, involve changing ends. Uh, Black, I think they go via Blackpool South, I think, or something like that. Some of them 
or go to such blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I think there's I think there's some changing ends that happens and goes back. So some some that were longer than an hour. But I thought for a the first proper trip out on one half an hour be good. She's rolling through these springs morning sunshine. I'm guessing we'll get slowed down at some point for approach to Preston. Do a little announcement. And we should do the uh, horn as well. I don't know how accurate that horn is, sounds okay to me. So five coming up. Oh, there's some people. Yeah. Blow the horn. Oh, there's a the, um, oil tankers. I'm guessing they're from Northern Trans Pennine, I think. No, Tees Valley, probably. I don't know. But one of those two, I would have thought. So starting it right down, we've got a 35 mile an hour coming up. Over the bumpy bits, this could be um, a bit more the jointed rail. Okay, we'll take that off. Into Preston, is that the church there? We're going across this viaduct. Twenty-five coming up as well, so it's a bit slow us down a little bit. Oh, it's an AWS magnet there. The first one I've seen. We cleared our sunflower. Okay, so we're twenty-two, so that's good. And we're cut. Well, if it's three minutes to go, although we've got half a mile. I always think you have loads of time when you look at like things like that but then you realize you're going to be doing it at 20 miles an hour or 25 miles an hour so oh, there's another pacer off on his way oh that's the church there it looks, looks really good okay can we go up hill a little bit so we'll give it a little bit of power it's got pacer and a side ins over there Preston's signal box, I think that's a, I think Preston's signal box, it actually might even still be there, PSB I think it is, could be wrong, one of my signal friends might know, um, so we've got a, what have we got here, we've got a single yellow and the, and the station, um, for the platform number as well, I'm going a bit faster now, we're in a, um, so we're in the 25, we're going, and we're going down the hills, and in the 35, so it's good. What else we've got outside in Preston? It's the main station here, it's obviously electrified. Let's get the brake in now because we're coming into the station. the brakes will be rolling. Well, bouncing up and down now. Okay, let's unlock the doors. Let's have a quick look around. Oh, these are the uh, famous yellow screens of back in the day. Um, for the 
customer information. What's over here? No, I can't see because I need a keyboard really for this. Uh, saw some some loco hold service over there. Rail drive. I guess that's how if you want to hire a car. And his Dacini outfit. So we have it in, Prest in Preston. Looks good. It looks good here. Imagine it'd probably be a little bit busier than this, but um, I don't want to. I don't want to be picky. The shower doors are way to complete the scenario. Yes, we are. Someone just booed me out. <laughs> Okay, so how do we do? Um, a little tiny bit of speed in the looks of it. No, what? All right. Okay, so oh, we got a, uh, I got a um, platinum. That's what I was trying to say. Anyway, thank you for watching this, taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't got the route, then um, then I'd heartily recommend it. Um, yeah, if you've got any comments, please leave them. Um, underneath here and like the video if you liked it um, and hopefully um, see you again soon once again thanks for watching bye bye now